are a large bottle, hydrogen peroxide, food coloring, dry yeast, and dish soap. You're going to start off by pouring 3 fourths a cup of hydrogen peroxide into a large bottle. Drop about 8 to 12 drops of food coloring into your bottle. This is going to help so that you can see the reaction a little bit better. Now you want to pour approximately 2 tablespoons of dish soap into the large bottle of hydrogen peroxide and food coloring. a cup of hot water and mix in approximately two and a half tablespoons of dry yeast. This hot water is going to help activate the yeast. You want to make sure that you mix in the yeast completely. You don't want to have any bubbles of yeast left in your mixture. The yeast is going to act as a catalyst to the hydrogen peroxide dish soap food coloring mixture that we made earlier. It is going to speed up a reaction that would have otherwise occurred in a slower fashion. It does this by increasing the amount of collisions that occur. This gives you a better chance for collisions to hit the right way so that the reaction that you want to occur occurs. Alright, so I'm almost done mixing the yeast. Now, pour the yeast in bottle and stand back and watch the reaction occur. As I touched the bottle, I felt that it was a bit warm. Not too hot, just warm. This made me realize that this is an exothermic reaction. This means that a little bit of heat was produced in this reaction. The reason this foam is produced is because the yeast reacts with the hydrogen peroxide to form oxygen and water. When the oxygen and water mixes with the soap, it causes the foam to be made. If you let this foam sit for a little while, it'll go back to the same with just as any regular dish soap and water would have mixed together. Thanks for watching!